So it's the focus group about the Zool football or bubble football feedback um, from the session that we conducted at the USA. So we're just going to get the lads to introduce themselves and then talk a little bit about the session, what they thought about it. So we'll start from... Hi, I'm Sam. Scott. Uh, Mark. And George. Right, lads. So did you enjoy the uh, Zorb or bubble football session that we had at the USA? Yeah, I think we all did, to be fair. Yeah, what did, what did you like about it specifically? Um, the fact that you get to take out anyone you want, people on your team, people on their team, and the fact it's not really about the football, it's just about taking each other out and having a laugh, really. So it's a bit more about the fun element rather yeah. than the actual not sport. Not really the competitive element apart from taking each other out. So okay. It's a completely different take on football, isn't it? So. Yeah. Did you get told it was about football or just about taking people out? Um, well, the title Bubble Football obviously suggests both, does it? So saw the pictures of it before runs turned up and it was what we thought it would be like. So did you did you expect to go there and play football or when somebody said you want to come play bubble football did you just think that you would go there and sort of just have yeah, a bit more, more fun? Yeah, it's more about the fun element and like yeah. they said hitting each other, mm. bouncing to a rather than actually passing around. Pass around and yeah. <coughs> How did you hear about it? George? Yes, yeah, you sure, I think. Yes, yeah, sure. you were. I've got Facebook, an email. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see it on the Facebook Yeah, page. you know, putting it all over Facebook and that as well. Yeah. Okay. And obviously um, it was for free this time. Um, just in terms of if you were going to do it again, what sort of uh, price would you expect to pay if you were going to do it with your no, mates? More or than eight quid. No, eight pound? No. Yeah, about five, five, five to pounds. ten max. To be fair, like, if, the, the hardest thing about it is if it was going to be changed from a sport, <laughs> like if you were going to say, oh, let's go do a tournament and bubble football, yeah. the idea of it being fun has to change towards competitive. Because okay. that way you can be a results based game. Yeah, I don't think you'd get many people. <coughs> and you wouldn't. Because yeah. if you were saying you were at the tournament, football obviously, football. though, if you had a league, you'd still be able to smash people, but yeah, you would have the aim would be to win, win the game. The aim yeah. would change from like a taster section. Point, point so, would you, would you pay a tenner ahead to go and play? I think we'd have to experience it in a competitive environment mm. before, after what we paid, uh, after what we played, in terms of like paying money to do that. Yeah, is that not just because this time it was free? Yeah. If this time he said they are gives a five each lads and come down and play, would you still go? Yeah, Probably especially yeah. as it was the first time and I hadn't done it before. Now maybe now that we've had it for free, it obviously will be not as enticing to pay for it again. But now a five to a ten and max ask to go again. Yeah. Because it was a league as well, and you're paying to play, you take it more seriously. Yeah. Okay. So, you want to just pay for it, it's just so would you would you actively get involved in a league if there was a sort of like a five sides or football I think league? It depends. Like, it's, with it being like the t- taste session was more the gender. So obviously, like some of us were a bit reserved in taking out a woman, whereas George some of us. Not. Were. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if we was going to participate in like a competition, I'd probably have it just gender based on mm. like one. That way, it just I don't know. Okay. Do you think you'd get? Do you think if you had to play every, say, one day a week for ten weeks in a league form, would you get bored of it? No. I don't know. Uh, I don't think, I don't think, I think you would. Because it's, oh, I think you would. I don't after, say, a few weeks, it'll just be the same thing. Mm. It's not really... Say if you were playing different teams, though. In a league structure. Different, I think different. it's something to look forward to. Because well, it's, it's different. Mm. Like, you don't get to do it very I often. I think every week would be too much. Maybe yeah. once a month or every few weeks, I think yeah. it would be better. And then I could play five-a-side every week, actual proper football. But that bubble football would be every few weeks, probably. So based on having, obviously you've got like the football league and stuff uh, throughout the year, do you think uh, maybe a Zorb football league over maybe the summer months for maybe six to eight weeks, do you think that would be a little bit more enticing for you? Because, yeah, like, yeah. in terms of like putting two together, there's a, obviously there's a higher risk of injury during bubble football, even though you are completely surrounded by the bubble. I think there is, especially like, when you do it, you wake up and you feel like, oh, the next week's sore, or, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, or, like, the elbow, that's a small heart. What do you think about... It's completely different. What do you think about kids, then? Say, between the ages of 8 and 14. Mm-hmm. But they think they'd enjoy it more as a football aspect, or just taking people out? I think they'd enjoy it more as a... I think you're both. Taking people out, yeah. yeah Especially like, the younger ages, because, obviously, for them, if they hit people and they go fly out, then they're going to think that's more fun and they'll probably lose the elements of actually going for the ball rather than just going for the... I think kids yeah. will be less bored of it if we did it, say, for a 10 week league than, say, yeah, someone yeah, your yeah. age. Yeah. I think younger, we, younger it's, it's, yeah, it's a chance. Serious. It's a chance for us to channel, uh, channel aggression into a session. Mm-hmm. Whereas then we don't really have aggression, do they? Do you, think, um, do you think there are any other drawbacks that you can think of to playing it? Um, well, where we played it, there was quite hard walls. 
So obviously maybe outside when there's not as many walls, because it was a bit dangerous. It's a bit like more if you got crunched right on the edge, like they said not to, but people still would. You could have easily like caught your ankle or something like that. But yeah. Or if it was on grass. Yeah, that'd be right. Would you prefer that, or would you yeah, prefer to play it on five side on a sunny day in the grass rather yeah. than inside in the hole? Yeah, because it did get really hot really quickly as well, especially yeah. as you're surrounded by mm. plastic or whatever it is, rubber. What about as a usually in coaching sessions like a fitness session? So obviously, I we we played it for what ten minutes, five minutes ago, and you were knackered, yeah, absolutely knackered. It, it does like it does entice a lot of new skills, like stuff like peripheral vision. You know, you go playing ball with football, you're looking out for someone coming from any angle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, you know what I mean? Do you think it increases so, um, things as well, like with your technique and stuff as well? Because I think there's a lot of yeah, like you, visibility you're, you're of the ball and stuff yeah, as well. You're always looking up. <coughs> mm -hmm. You literally can't look down. It's so amazing. Yeah. Mm, positioning, yeah, definitely. Cool. So it would be good for a coaching session if you made it, obviously, specific. Nice one. All right. Cheers, lads. Thanks very much. No worries. Please.